session. Charles, over to you. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm uh, been in the clinical research uh, area field for more than 25 years. You can tell by my gray hair um, that that may be very true. Um, I, I like teaching, but I understand that, or I want you to understand that I didn't teach myself. I was taught by good coordinators, and CRAs, and staffers, and other people. And it's to them, uh, my early teachers. I mean, I was, <laughs> when I first took a job as PI and medical director of a phase one CRO, uh, I don't think I read the 1572 for a couple of months. You know, so busy, a new job, and <laughs> that's the way it goes. Anyway, um, um, my doctorate is in pharmacology. Uh, FCP is fellow of the American College of Clinical Pharmacology, and CPI is certified principal investigator. Uh, I realize I'm not talking to as many PIs or investigators as you know should be, but nonetheless, uh, uh, I'm sure all of you will pass on to your PIs that PI does not stand for physician invisible. Um, another another uh, title of this, <laughs> document everything in clinical research or else. Um, sorry for the second picture, but uh, my original set uh, has it this way. Now, I understand that uh, <clears throat> clinical research has several, you know, phases. And, of course, phase one is usually normal healthy, but can be a very sick person with a very sort of dangerous drug. So you can do first in man um, uh, normal healthies or others. Uh, again, safety is outlined as the most important thing. And uh, a question that was asked uh, earlier uh, that documentation is important all the way through, but which one would be the most important, uh, in a way, phase one, but as I say that, uh, I, I think documentation is essential uh, in all three, and I would, you know, only if pressed, I would say phase one. Phase 2A, first time in patients. One and 2A are done in CPUs or CRUs, clinical research units, clinical pharmacology units, and uh, uh, that's the first time in patient. But again, safety is... You know, yes, it's a proof of concept, but that's safety. Um, 2B on up, 3A, 3B are inpatients, and they vary in size, and they vary in location. In phase three, this is where you get the uh, multi-center and even multinational uh, studies, and uh, greater than 300, but, you know, it could be 3,000 in phase three for some drugs. Then, of course, the FDA looks at it for safety. And, uh, you know, they can take a while for it. And then phase four, which is a, a great interest of mine, is pharmacovigilance. That means after approval. And, again, we look at it for safety or post-marketing safety was PMS, in case you thought it meant something else. Um, I mean, drugs do have PMS, too. But uh, uh, nonetheless, uh, this, is, this is what clinical research uh, looks like, and I would have to say that documentation is essential for all of them because if the documentation is not adequate, the FDA starts looking very, very closely, and they pick up on documentation. They do. Now, I mentioned earlier that the principal investigator is responsible. He really is. She really is responsible for the whole ball of wax, and by managing data, uh, I mean, this means documentation, being sure that everything is well documented. And that's the purpose of this webinar. As a matter of fact, this subject is one of the very early uh, uh, webinars and lectures that I used to give an awful lot uh, once I learned how important it was. Um, a very good way of looking at documentation uh, is this statement below, uh, treat the data you are collecting as if someone's life depends on it, because it does. 
This was a framed sign in a phase one CRO, uh, actually in Seattle area some years ago, and it was all over the place. I, I saw this, if not once, I saw it a dozen times in, in wherever data was collected. It wasn't in the subject's uh, sleeping area, but every place else. Very, very true and excellent. Um, important sign. Now, yes, 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 documentation is work. And uh, uh, whether that's the PI or the uh, coordinators or the CRAs, anybody, to document a study requires some work. Now, we're going to look at the GCP of documentation. What is it? What are the essential documents according to the uh, ICH, which is the same as the FDA? By the way, people often will say, well, the ICH is International Conference on Harmonization. You know, it's Japan. Uh, the U.S. and the EU, but, uh, you know, you don't get 43s on on uh, ICH. Well, you may not, but believe me, the U.S. wrote it and they follow it. And if you don't get a specific 483 on a point that's ICH that's not in the regs, they'll find a way. And the source documents are really important. Uh, um, how best to record? Now, admittedly, electronic medical records, the MR, uh, record things a little bit more <laughs> accurately in the sense that um, uh, you have to sign off on it because if your blood pressure machine goes right into the electronic record or your pulse ock or uh, temperature goes in, so it's there. It's less likely to be a mistake, but it has to be documented. 